Welcome on YouTube, Instagram, I'm Kimali, and today I'll be showing you guys how I make mackerel and rice. This is my cousin Christine's favorite dish. <laughs> she loves mackerel and rice. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I cook it and how I just regularly do it. So right here, I'm just showing you guys the white rice. Um, I really don't like white rice. Like on a regular occasion, I barely eat it. I barely cook it. That's why I have like such a small amount, and I'm cooking such a small amount. But yeah, I'm using the rice cooker to um to do the rice. So you guys see me putting some water in the pot and getting that all started up. And here you guys see me cutting up um some seasonings, like actual real season. I think I was cutting. I used um garlic onion sweet pepper and tomatoes and i actually use hot pepper too i think that's all i used yeah i think that's all the season that i use for that but yeah you guys see me cutting it up it was kind of hard to cut up the sweet pepper because i usually put it in the freezer because if i don't it gets all old and ewy too soon and then i just i just want to throw it out so yeah i usually put some of my um vegetables or seasonings in the freezer so it kind of gets hard to cut them up but other than that it's like a breeze but anyways i was super excited to cook mackerel and rice because i hadn't cooked it in so long i think i cooked it in the summertime but i hadn't cooked it like till no so i was really excited because um i had one of my friends bring some mackerel for me from jamaica because where i'm at i can't get any mackerel like i can barely get any jamaican type food but um yeah so i got some like three tins of mackerel and like i cooked it and i was just <laughs> so excited so, so i decided like i would show you guys how i made it because yeah i made it all bougie and everything so that was it was exciting <laughs> You guys would be like, oh my god, this girl life is so boring. She's excited for cook my and rice. My gosh. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this is how I cook it and this is how I do what I do. Um, so I mean here I'm using um vegetable oil. I use a very tiny amount of oil. I try not to use too much oil whenever I'm cooking like literally anything. I try to use as little oil as possible. I don't know, I just don't like having a lot of oil in the pot. It just kind of just use me out. But yeah, so I put the oil in the pot. And yes, this is me opening the mackerel. I feel like I did a really good job this time. Because <laughs> the last time I tried opening the tin of mackerel, I broke the little tin thing. Yeah, I know. I got like all mackerel juice all over myself. Disgusting, I know. But anyway, the last time I tried to open um the mackerel tin, I broke the thing and then it was so hard. I had to use like a can opener to get in and then uh it was so much work. It was just it was sad. It was so much work to open a tin of mackerel. Like you guys have no idea. But anyways, so this is me um throwing the the mackerel in the pot. It was a bit difficult to get it out. I had to like shake it and shake it. I mean, I feel like that's normal. That's literally how mackerel always is. Especially when you use like the big tin, like the jack mackerel. Because it has like more in it. So it's like really compact. But you just have to wiggle it and shake it until it comes out. And then afterwards, I took out the bones. I don't like to have bones in my fish or in my mackerel or anything. I really like have all that removed so i took out all the bones and all the gooey stuff that i am not a fan of so yeah it takes a while to take all the stuff out but i rather take all the time and take it out because i really just don't like having all that stuff in my food it's just uh but yeah it takes a while to take it out but i take the time and i take it out
okay so now i think i'm putting the rice in the rice cooker yeah it's a very small amount of rice like guys i really don't like white rice like it's just so plain and bland and just uh blah but i think i had put too much water in the pot so i had to like throw some of the water out so that the rice wouldn't be all mushy and ewy so <laughs> yeah and then i put my vegetables or my seasoning in the mackerel pot so yeah that was done now i'm using some of my dry seasoning i used the badia and i'm gonna show you guys the rest of the seasonings that i used i used the creole seasoning i don't really want to try and pronounce the rest of the words <laughs> um i used the crushed red pepper i love using crushed red pepper and everything even though i already added pepper i don't know i just like it when it's like a little spicy and i also use black pepper in it so yeah, I used yeah, that's me adding some black pepper in to it. I think these seasonings make macro taste so good. In my opinion, like if you try it and you like it, I would love to know. But in my opinion, I feel like these what four seasonings are like really all you need to make your macro taste like yeah you like it tastes good. <laughs> so yeah, I add I like to add like a little extra black pepper because I really just like black pepper on my food. I know I always like black pepper. So that's how I do. Okay, so now I'm going to add some ketchup into the pot and just leave it to like simmer down a little and get all good the way I like it. Okay, so now I'm just adding some butter to the rice and get it all nice and mellow the way I like my white rice, even though I don't like white rice. But yeah, I like to add a lot of butter to it so that it tastes better. Just have like a little more flavor because I just, ugh, white rice is so bland. But yeah, that's how I do it. And I also add some salt to it because I don't know, salt is... It just makes it better i don't add a lot of salt to the rice though i add like a very small amount because i don't want it tasting on you know, salty okay so now i'm adding um this cauliflower broccoli type thing i got it at kroger's i just um prop it into the microwave and it's gonna be all good then now my rice is all finished and i put it in a little um cup or plate thing and serve it out i want it to look all bougie and cute so that's how i did it i just placed it some of the rice in the cup and then i put it on a plate so it looked like a restaurant type vibes so i just i really like that i was really proud of myself <laughs> it's on period Okay, so now I'm just dishing out some of the mackerel onto a plate. I mean, obviously it's the same plate that I put the rice on. But yeah, I just tried to put some on the plate. It was, I don't know, for some reason it was so difficult for me to share out the food. Like, food is never this hard to share out. Like, it was difficult to share out the food. I feel like it was because I was on camera and I was trying to make it like, I don't know, I was trying to be extra decent and it like made it extra worse. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Now this is me adding my veggies to the plate and I, I really didn't show you guys how the plate looked. I think I could add a picture of how the plate looked overall. 
but yeah the food was really good like honestly it was really good i'm not even trying to be extra like you can try yourself and cook it you're gonna see that i was not capping like it's this the bomb but yeah thanks for watching <laughs>